blippity blip, boop a doop a doop. Hey, it's time to talk about a comic book thing. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Hey, it's me, your old internet pal, Hank. And I'm uh, recording a little CBMF video talkie thingy, my Bob, where I wanted to tell you about a book you should read if you haven't read it yet. Um, I'm I'm really sorry. Like two people said that they were entertained by the sing song talking thing that I keep doing, and now it's stuck in my head, so I keep doing it, and it's probably going to get super annoying. And I'm really sorry about that, but not sorry enough to stop. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um. Recently, I've been rereading a book written by Warren Ellis, who might be one of my all-time favorite writers, and drawn by Ben Templesmith. You might know Ben Templesmith. One of his biggest projects was he was the first artist to work on the original uh, 30 Days of Night graphic novel before it became a movie, obviously. I think they kind of used his art as a bit of the inspiration for how the creatures looked in the movie, which obviously they fucking should have, since the only thing that was really cool about 30 Days of Night was that it was drawn by Ben Templesmith, because Ben Pen... Tem Bemplesmith. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. Tem Bemplesmith. Um, He's got a very sort of loose expressionistic feel to his art. Um... Yeah, there's there's a slightly surrealist, cartoony kind of feel. He does his own colors, at least in the book that I'm talking about. And I haven't even said... And I haven't even said the title of the book I'm talking about yet. Though it's probably in the description title for this video you're watching. So, anyways, I'm talking about Fell. Fell came out many years ago. Written by Warren Ellis, drawn by Tim Bemplesmith. That's so much fun to say. Um, It's real-world crime drama stuff, uh, single-issue stories. There's only one graphic novel, and it collects up all eight issues that exist of Fell, and everybody always wants there to be more, but there is not. There was a rumor that there was going to be more at one point, but then it never happened. So what is Fell about? Um, Fell is about uh, Richard Fell. He's a police detective, and in each issue, he goes on a case in the neighborhood that he lives in, which is called Snowtown. And Snowtown is basically the shittiest, poorest, crappiest modern ghetto a person could live in. Um, So it's just sort of a look at poor people and crime and the shitty things that human beings do to one another, which is kind of what Warren Ellis does best. Um, Shitty people doing shittier things to one another. That's like his stock in trade. Um, Fell is a very popular book in my store. Um, No, Fell uh, always sells well. (laughs) That's how you can remember it. Fell sells well. Um, it's, it's nice because it's a perfect combination of writing and art and it's a good standalone story, um, or it's a collection of standalone stories and it's a good standalone book. You can give fell to people who don't read comic books. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily give it to my mom, but if I knew somebody who was super into like true crime stories who had never read a graphic novel and kind of thinks the comic books are stupid based on what they've seen portrayed in the media... I totally get that, and that's one of the things that makes Fell such a special little book. It says Volume 1, Feral City, that's the title of it, but it is very unlikely that we will ever see a Volume 2. Volume 1 came out, oh my god, I'm trying to take a look on the back here and see if I can get a date on it. It's, hold on. Yeah, Fell was originally printed in 2011, so, I mean, I guess that's only six years ago, maybe, maybe. Whoops, hey Hank, this is just Hank here, cutting in for a second. I just took a look at 
what you looked at before, and you were actually reading the wrong number. Uh, Fell originally came out in 2006, and then the edition of the trade paperback that I have, that came out in 2011. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Anyway, back to you, Hank. Maybe Warren Ellis and Ten Bemple Smith will hear this video and they'll say, it's time for us to bring back Fell. Hank said so and he really wants to read it. But, you know, it'd be super popular if they did. And they know it. They, they are not idiots. They know people want to see more Fell. Um... Yeah, so anyways, it's just a little recommendation I wanted to give to people who like gritty, dark, slightly bleak, funny, well, slightly funny, very bleak. Not slightly bleak, very funny. That's for sure. Um, the character of Fell is very much the... Warren Ellis has this strong protagonist voice that he uses a lot. I think you can read Fell in accompaniment with Transmetropolitan and Desolation Jones, and all three of those characters have the Warren Ellis agenda, as I might say. But here's the thing. It's one of those, like, yeah, a lot of this band's songs sound the same, but they're a really good band. So if you like that sound, then you're going to enjoy their stuff. And Warren Ellis isn't just one note. He has a whole bunch of... He has a style that is very distinct to what he does, but he is able to do a lot of things with that style. I think uh, Grant Morrison had a metaphor about how you only need to know like a handful of chords to play every song the Beatles ever made. So it's not really the tools you have, but what you do with them. We all know that, right? That's that's a thing. You can't just throw money at a problem and make great art. It's got to come from somewhere real. I think Fell comes from a real place. I know Warren Ellis uh, used to be a journalist, and he sort of has a reputation of being a... Uh, how do I want to put this? And I don't want to say a rough-and-tumble character, but, um, well, Warren Ellis seems like a really nice guy. I uh, walked past him on the street once. He was complaining about the price of Indian food. This was here in Vancouver. It was a very special moment for me. I did not introduce myself. I walked past a dude and thought to myself, whoa, that guy looks like Warren Ellis. And uh, later I found out that Warren Ellis was in town. So there you go. That was the time I walk past Warren Ellis and I'll never forget it. Anyway, none of that has anything to do with what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Fell. Um, yeah, so if you like gritty, bleak, Crime noir, standalone stories without any weird powers or crap getting in the way. That's what this is. And it's one of the best graphic novels ever published in North America. Um, it's got to be on the top 20 list of just one of the finest pieces of graphic novel art and literature that human beings have ever created. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, that's what I have to say about Fell. So, thank you for listening to me, and I will get back to you later. Thank you for being my friends. That's a uh, that's an old emo Phillips quote. Anyway, I gotta go. CBMF. I'm Hank. Thanks for listening.